Yo, what's up guys? This is your video on inheritance inside of Java. Now, we did talk about inheritance throughout this object-oriented section, but I wanted to devote a video to it now just to get on the same page with what it is. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. Inside of inheritance, which is the second big piece of object-oriented programming, we have encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism. So we're on that second one here. The whole idea is that we can create classes that inherit from other classes, or they extend another class. So a common example is with animals. You could have an animal class, and then you can have a dog class, and a cat class. These are going to be animals, so we can define common behavior in this animal class, and the dog and cat are automatically going to get that behavior. In the context of the code we've been writing so far, we have used a method dot equals. And you might be wondering, where did this come from on our objects if we didn't define it ourselves? Well, this is actually inherited from that inheritance hierarchy. So we might make a custom object such as user, and we can use this dot equals method even if we never created that method inside of our class. That's because in the hierarchy, user inherits from object. And one of the things inside of object is a method called equals. And that's going to basically flow down to user automatically. And we do have the option of overriding it, which we talked about in a couple videos ago. So we can make our own equals method to do a more proper comparison. 